Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with data. Our viewer is looking to convert a result set object into a CSV format string without the hassle of creating an intermediate file. They mentioned trying OpenCV, but are seeking a more efficient solution. Let's dive into the details and explore how we can achieve this seamlessly. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To convert a result set object to a CSV format string, we will first need to understand the structure of the result set. A result set typically contains rows of data where each row consists of multiple columns. Next, we will create a method to iterate through the result set. For each row, we will extract the column values and format them as a CSV string. Let's start with a simple code snippet. In this code, we initialize an empty string for our CSV output. We then loop through each row in the result set, joining the column values with commas and adding a newline character at the end of each row. Finally, we can call this function by passing our result set object to it. This will return the CSV formatted string without the need for any intermediate file creation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When converting a result set to CSV format, it's important not to create your own method. CSV files have specific rules regarding quotes and escaping. Instead, use dedicated libraries. For broken CSV files, Univocity parsers is a good choice, but for result set, OpenCSV is recommended. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.